Diversity, noun, the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social and ethnic backgrounds and of different genders, sexual orientations, etc. Let's see if Joe Biden's administration makes the cut. Joe Biden, at 78 years old, he is the oldest US president to take the oath of office, so yeah, we'll give him a diversity tick for being old. Kamala Harris is the first female, black American, and person of South Asian descent to be elected vice president in the history of the United States, so yep, that's definitely a tick for diversity. Here's Biden's communications team, Kate Bedingfield as White House Communications Director, Jen Psaki as Press Secretary, Pili Tobar, who identifies as a Guatemalan American, Karine Jean Pierre, who identifies as an African American lesbian, Simone Sanders, African American, Ashley Etienne, who identifies as a person of colour, and Elizabeth Alexander as the communications director for the First Lady. That's a huge tick for diversity. Not a man to be seen. Doug Emhoff, Kamala Harris's husband, will be the first man to ever step into the role of second gentleman, so that's also a big tick for diversity. Pete Buttigieg, Secretary of Transportation, at 39, he's the youngest and the first openly gay person to serve in the cabinet, so of course this deserves a big diversity tick. Adewale Wally Adeyemo, I really do apologise for mispronouncing all these names. Uh, he's also 39, he will be serving as the Deputy Secretary of the Treasury. As a Nigerian American, he will be the first black person to serve in the role. Tick. Rachel Levine, Assistant Secretary for Health, she will be the first ever openly transgender federal official to be confirmed by the Senate. Tick. Secretary of Defence, General Lloyd Austin, he'll be the first black person to take on the role, but he will need a congressional waiver in order to nullify the seven-year waiting period between active duty and government service. But a tick nonetheless. Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra, he will be the first Latino to lead the department. Tick. Carlos Elizondo, sorry, Elizondo, he will be the first Hispanic American to be appointed White House Social Secretary. Tick. Deb Harland, Secretary of the Interior, she'll be the first Native American to serve in the role and will be responsible for determining policy for federally owned natural resources as well as tribal lands. Tick. Avril Haines, Director of National Intelligence, she will be the first woman to fill the role and will be responsible for overseeing the 17 agencies that make up the nation's intelligence community. Tick. Kathleen Hicks, she will be the first woman to serve as the Deputy Secretary of Defence. Tick. Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, being born in Cuba, he will be the first Latino and first immigrant to serve in the role. Tick. Michael Regan, or Reagan, will be the first black man to serve as the Environmental Protection Agency Administrator. Tick. Dr. Janet Yellen, Secretary of the Treasury. Not only will she be the first person, sorry, the first woman to lead the Department of the Treasury, but the first person to have headed the Treasury, the Central Bank, and the White House Council of Economic Advisers, which are the three most powerful economic positions in the nation. Tick. Neera Tandon, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, she'll be the first woman of colour and first South Asian American to serve in the role. Tick. US Trade Representative Catherine Tai will be the first woman of colour to serve in the role. Tick. Cecilia Rouse will serve as the Chair of the Council of Economic Advisers, becoming the first black woman to serve in the role. Tick. There are a whole bunch of others who are equally diverse. Uh, Marcia Fudge, Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Linda Thomas-Greenfield, Ambassador to the United Nations. Isabel Guzman, Administrator of the Small Business Administration. Gina Raimondo, Secretary of Commerce. Vancouver-born Jennifer Granholm as Secretary of Energy. And Dr. Miguel Cardona, Secretary of Education. Ticks all around. And just in case you thought we were only including humans in this list, Major Biden is one of the presidential first dogs and will be the first shelter dog to move into the White House. Tick. There are a few others, but unfortunately they're white, straight, and male. So sorry, no diversity ticks for you. So what do you think? Are Biden's picks representative of America? Or is this diversity in overdrive? <laughs> <laughs>